Welcome back TYB to another video. Today we got some pretty, pretty dope things going on and I'm about 95% sure I've made a decision on this car, which is about today's video. Today we need to be putting these parts onto this car and restoring her somewhat because it's been about a year and a half and she has been torn apart in that whole time. So she needs to be restored, put back together and prettied up because I'm about 95% sure I wanna sell her. I'm at a point in my life where I could use the extra money and uh, just free up some stress, you know what I'm saying? Just things that people go through, you know what I'm saying? And Susie, as good of a car she is, you know, I don't know yet if she's worth keeping. You know, I'm still on the fence because, uh, I don't know, I love this car. I love everything about this car. And if people who hate this car either haven't driven one or just can't think for themselves because this is such a great car. Also, we got a few more goodies for the GTR that we're gonna talk about later in this video. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's wash every single car because we can't work on cars that are dirty. Like that. We got some brand new OEM stuff from Toyota for Susie because uh, you guys know we stored this bumper away and uh, these black plastics and stuff, all of this stuff um, were never in the best condition when I got her. So we're gonna be replacing her with all brand new stuff right now. Hopefully that lighting is good. But before that, you know, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Oh. I look uncomfortable because I am. All right. First piece. What is this piece? Ah. Right, yeah. Bam. Brand new. Looks like a pain in the ass to put back on. And we got this right here. This piece. Ah, perfect. This is the piece I really wanted because this piece, it sits here and it has, when I got the car, it had like a fat chip. So whoever the first owner was of this car uh, didn't do it justice. So now Susie's gonna be looking brand new. This box also just has the other side. So that's pretty much the whole front lip for the stock bumper in this box. So that means this big old box should have all the other plastic. Bang. New grill. Right. What's behind the final door? Looks like we got two pieces in here. OEM part numbers. Got the two side plastics. And the other side, this side holds that sensor 
um, for the, or like the ECU or like the brain for the sensors. It goes right here. And then we got the piece de resistance, the front mesh that goes here. It's brand new. And a lot of, on the Supras, like these tend to like fade and turn like gray, ugly from the sun or water or whatever. They just dry out. So all brand new plastics is gonna bring this car back to life. And uh, even though we got a lot of new parts for this car, um, we, gotta, we got some things to talk about. And I want your guys' feedback. The first step to taking the bumper off, which uh, I made it a little bit easier for myself, you gotta remove uh, this, damn, the hell? Yeah, you gotta remove this rubber piece right here so you can get to all the bolts underneath and i'm missing i don't even know if that's the right bolt that goes there but i ordered more bolts because i'm missing this one i honestly if you guys have a super and ever taking your bumper off is this the right bolt that goes here because once we took everything apart we had it all organized for a while but things got so delayed things that ended up needed to be reorganized and moved and a lot of stuff is misplaced and i don't remember where or what goes what you know you guys have been there if you've been there you've been there so has this is this the right bolt that goes here or is it not because i'm missing one and that's why there's a little bit of a gap right here but we just need to take these bolts off and then the two eight millimeters that are off right there so about two four five six seven eight bolts plastics off and I want to give you guys a quick before uh, of the old plastics and then of the new plastics before we put them all back on but it was a little bit of a pain to take them off but not too bad in all honesty this is before this is the center plastic piece there's a little chip right there it's dirty all those little sprinkles and sparkles is all like little rock chips and it's just filthy underneath and here is the brand new one perfect nothing but fingerprints on it it's brand new, ready to go, OEM from Toyota. I don't even know what that sticker says or why I'm showing it to you, but yeah, there's the difference between that. Y'all peep the difference. Dirty, faded, brand new, boy. Feels protected cause I keep that thing on me Cause I know they'll try and try for my demise No weapon will fall when my game with me Cause they gon' slide for me You damn right they gon' slide for me Perfect, easy. It is now the next day. So it was a total of three days in this video. And last night we really didn't get to show you all the new grills and lip for the Supra. So as you guys can see, no more rock chips, brand new plastic, brand new plastic, no more fading, no chunk taken out. And Susie looks absolutely beautiful. I wanted to show you guys in the daytime because we also have to talk some serious talk about this car. Susie is being considered to be on the chopping board because 
um i don't know just something about not having it and it never being complete like kind of made me fall out of love and uninspired with this build and this car in general so i don't have anything any problems with the car the car is perfect the car is fine but like where do i go with this car in the future and would you guys want to see me build it further like add more carbon add more power different wheel setup etc etc just give her a whole new refresh redo everything and uh, take the build farther or would you guys rather see me build an evo an evo 9 or an evo 8 is what i'm doing for um and the pluses to an evo 8 or evo 9 is i'd be able to buy it cash there would be no car payment so a lot of money that i'm making all of the money that i make from my regular nine to five job is how i pay for these cars and the modifications so i'm not bill gates i'm not rich that's why it takes me a little bit longer to do a video etc or a modification because i gotta save money for those things because nothing for these cars is cheap so this car would take me a lot longer to build it's a little bit more reliable etc etc the evo it would need a lot of work it would need a lot of prettying up and restoring probably because evos are old so it just comes with the nature of the car being old like things need to be replaced what i'm getting at is would you guys rather me build this or start fresh with an evo 8 or 9 uh for the channel because i love this car i love these cars but ultimately i have them they're my dream cars but i want them to grow the channel you know that's what i have them for outside of my personal use and personal dream cars i want them to build my channel that's my ultimate goal so you guys let me know in the comment section below evo 8 evo 9 to pair with the r32 gtr and we also need to be restoring the infinity pretty soon and so that car is also never going anywhere for life so evo 8 evo 9 or take the build on suzy even further and we're talking about 650 700 horsepower upgrade the turbo carbon hood uh new steering wheel wings side skirts and uh you know just just quality quality parts and probably a different wheel setup you know so let me know in the comments below and y'all as always i hope you guys have a blessed day i'll see you guys in the next video with the new modifications for this thing and we're taking this to a car meet so you'll see it in the next video <laughs>